so hey guys um we've got a bit of a fan favorite um you guys seem to absolutely love it when i do an m s haul so if you're interested to see some new autumn winter colder weather vibes fall autumn pumpkin spice latte situation um then stay tuned <laughs> it's becky and welcome to my channel hello if you're new there thank you for clicking on this video and hello and welcome again to all of my lovely regulars my lovely subscribers um so if you are unaware i do plus size fashion a little bit of beauty and a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in um so if that sounds like your cup of tea i would absolutely love it if you hit that big red subscribe button down below um it is free to subscribe and it just means that um, you'll see my videos pop up a little bit more on your home page. Um, you can even hit that bell and you will literally get notified um, every time I upload um, on YouTube as well. So if you enjoy my content and you would like to see more of it, then feel free to do those things. Um, and also um, if you give me a little like, if you enjoy the video um, and also comment your favorite piece in the haul. I always love to know um, what you guys love the look of the most. It just kind of helps me guide maybe what to pick up next time to show you. Um, and also just for pure transparency, all the links in the description um, are affiliate links. Um, so that just means that if you decide to shop through my links for the items, I get a small kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just It's a way to support my channel if you would like to do so. So all the links for everything will be down below. And uh, yeah, hope you see some nice items in this haul. Um, also, <laughs> um, I know so many, so many announcements and things. Um, but uh, Instagram, I've been posting so much more recently. And with my favourite season, autumn, fall coming around the corner, I'm going to be posting so much more. So um, if you want to see kind of more of like outfits I put together rather than just individual pieces that I try on, uh, give me a follow at Becca Wren. And I kind of style things up a little bit more um than i do on youtube so yeah um so right next to me i've got so many boxes um so i just want to mention quickly at the beginning of this video that teddy blake have kindly oh hit myself in the face <laughs> this box is enormous it's taking up the whole screen um but teddy blake i've worked with them in the past um have kindly sent me a box well they've sent me a box that's for sure and inside the box is a handbag let me just open this enormous box up so i chose the 14 inch kim bag i think they call the color gray but it's this beautiful gray beige um i already have the ava in a 14 in a tan this is a much more structured handbag the levers are a lot more stiff um, i can fit my 13 inch macbook in the ava however i cannot fit the 13 inch in here um so just bear that in mind if you are looking at a bag and um, it will fit a 13 inch laptop or a tablet or something like that i do recommend the ava more and i will link my video down below where i talk more about the ava um, but this is the kim and you can tell why she's called Kim. Um, she's very sophisticated, very chic, um, very Hermes Birkin style um, look to it. We've got these beautiful little clasps here at the front and these are all Italian leather handbags. All of their handbags are really, really nice quality. Um, I will obviously warn you now, Teddy Blake's handbags are um, quite expensive but they're not the same price as like high-end designer bags so if you like a really good quality bag um you know 100 leather using really really good um quality materials and um craftsmanship but you're not a huge fan of paying for the label um then teddy blake could be a, an ideal place for you to find a handbag uh let me just oh they're already open so you just unflap these and also this is like super secure say if you uh do work in a city or commute or whatever very very secure handbag and then here is the inside so as you can see it is quite stiff um but i oh that's <laughs> sticking to my hair and um, but i will say i do like the interior of this handbag a little bit more than my ava because it's nice and like 
soft and smooth and there is a little internal pocket on the inside um i think this handbag is literally the perfect size for kind of a commuter bag um as long as you don't need to take your laptop with you you could definitely fit all the things you need in here your purse uh your airpods or bigger headphones umbrella you know a collapsible umbrella would definitely fit in here as well um i do think the 14 inch is perfect and it does come ooh, with oh, a huge box it came with um a dust bag ooh. It also came with a matching strap, but to be honest, I think I would just carry it with the top handle. Um, but their bags are absolutely gorgeous. They obviously do loads more styles, colours and sizes on the website. And that will be linked at the top of my description box. Um, so big thank you to Teddy Blake for sending me this bag. I'll probably be taking some pictures with this um, around autumn because I just think it's absolutely stunning. So yeah, all the information will be linked down below. So now on to <laughs> my M&S haul. The M&S haul is so big that it came in a bag and a box. Um, so let's go for the bag first. Hopefully I didn't flash my address to you then. Oh, this is so cute. So we're starting off with something really cute, comfy and soft. Um, ooh, oh gosh, this is gorgeous, guys. This is just something very, very casual, but I saw it on the website and for it was a really kind of nice athleisure basic that I think you could also um, dress up or down. So it's a knitted grey hoodie. Um, I got this in a size 24 and it was £25. M&S is more on the pricier side of things, but I do tend to find their stuff does last really well and it's it's normally really well made. Um, so this is really nice and stretchy. I think this just with some skinny jeans or some leggings even, you know me and my leggings <laughs> when I'm not working. Um, sorry if you can hear the fan as well. Um, it's always the case when I'm doing a video about either summer clothes it's really cold or when I'm doing a video about winter clothes it we're now having a last blip of hot weather so always the case so if you can hear anything it's my fan because I'm hot um, but this feels absolutely gorgeous feels like a really nice thickness and it's got kind of like an oversized um, kind of dropped sleeve which is very very flattering on a plus size body um, let me look at the composition for you guys um, so this is made of 81% polyester, 16% viscose and 3% elastane and spandex. So yeah, super, super stretchy. You've got a nice little hood here at the back. And then this like absolutely enormous pocket here at the front. Um, this hoodie is going to be absolutely perfect for those colder days when you just want to get all snug as a bug indoors. Um, but then you have to go to the shop because you've run out of milk you know <laughs> you can just have this on look a little bit put together um but still super super cozy and i think gray just kind of goes with everything it goes with blue denim really well and black denim and stuff like that so um thought this was such a great little basic that you could literally wear all the way through autumn right through to the end of winter uh let's try this first one on so we're starting off with something really comfy and cozy it's this kind of grey knitted hoodie and um, it's just really really comfortable <laughs> um, I feel like you could definitely kind of dress it up a little bit maybe with some like jewellery or something but you can obviously definitely slob around the house with it as well it's got this huge pocket here at the front so you can put your phone some snacks you know tissues whatever you want in there um, it's super super stretchy as well I would say it would have been nice if there was just a little bit more length but it does just about cover the tummy line. Um, it is this really nice, soft knit, very like fine knit. And it's like mild, so it's got like different tones of gray, which is really, really pretty. Um, the armholes are quite big, but I don't mind that in this kind of hoodie. Um, and we have a hood. There is the hood. Um, I just think this is just a really nice, comfy, snuggly hoodie. I think if you're 26, you could definitely get away with it. Um, so yeah, big thumbs up. It's super, super cute and cozy for the autumn winter. And we're gonna open this huge, huge box. Obviously, I have bought way too much. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, so many fun things. What should we start with? Let's start with this. That's the thing with M&S, everything comes on hangers, which I do like, but also sometimes they're the bane for dry and hauls because everything gets tangled up. But this first dress is gorgeous. Um, one thing I really love from M&S are their jersey dress range. They seem to do these jersey dresses all year round, um, but you know, shorter sleeve for the summer, longer sleeve for the winter. Um, and they're really good affordable price. I find jersey dresses really, really comfortable, especially um, if you are working in an office. They're very um, smart looking, um, but they are really comfortable if you're sitting at a desk all day. Um, and they also wash really, really well. So I really like them. And I saw this one online and just adored the colors. It's, if you like a bluey green palette, it's, it's autumn, but in a different, color scheme um all these beautiful beautiful kind of sea foam turquoise moss colors um this is a long sleeve kind of skater a-line dress we'll have to see how this fits um and then on the back we have got two beautifully uh, covered fabric buttons and a little keyhole um just thought this was so so stunning and it was really affordable this was only 1950 I think that's a really good price. Um, sustainable viscose with Stay New, made with viscose, which is derived from sustainable sources for less impact on the environment. So that's great. I got this in a 24. Uh, so this is exactly made out of 95% viscose and 5% elastane. Um, I just think this is absolutely stunning. This with some tights and some boots. Um, what a look, even if you're not work, you know, going to the office, this would just be such a nice little kind of like winter outfit with a nice coat. Oh, gorgeous. Can't wait to try this on. I think it's going to look stunning. So here's this dress and it's a lot more kind of like figure hugging than I was expecting. I think I thought it was going to be a bit more kind of like outwards, but it's still quite cute, but you've just got to be aware that it is going to like hug your curves a little bit if you are more bottom heavy. Um, I do like the long sleeves and I think, obviously imagine this with some like black tights, that's how I would wear it. Um, the pattern is really, really interesting. It's kind of like sea inspired, but like sea plants. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's inspired by, but it's very I pretty. like the colors. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Really different, um, really nice sleeve length. Um, and they're not, the sleeves aren't big at all. Um, would just say the head hole was a little bit small to get on, so you might want to undo the buttons, but I've got quite a big head and I've got it on fine. I'd probably do your makeup afterwards. <laughs> um, it is super, super stretchy as well, so if you were wearing this to an office and sitting down at a desk all day, it would be comfortable as well. Um, perhaps you might want to size up if you want a bit more of a oversized smock style. Um, otherwise, I do think it is quite a cute, silhouette um so yeah and i think this was like like 20 pounds and i think that's really reasonable for ms <laughs> oh no it's another thing which i think is absolutely adorable um always always liked ms's knitwear and i saw these gorgeous star print jumpers and um, they're super super soft and fluffy um and they had one in cream and with like black navy stars and then i saw this one with the sky blue and the navy stars i just thought it was so different and really pretty and unique and i loved the v neckline thought that was super flattering again this was a bargain 15 pounds um i thought that was a really really good price obviously long sleeve i got this in a 24 again i get everything in a 24 mns they sometimes run quite small. Um, everything at the moment is looking super promising though, but I, ha you know, it is quite hit and miss for me as I have put on a little bit of weight during lockdown. So just bear that in mind, but this feels so, so soft. And if you're not a fan of the blue, they did do it in a, a white and I think black or navy star. I'll link that down below. That was also really pretty. And honestly, it was so hard to decide between the two. Um, this is 100% um, acrylic, um, but it feels incredible, guys. It is so soft. Um, if you can go feel this in, um, in store yourself and just feel how soft this is, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, I really like it and also like how kind of deep the kind of like ribbing is on like the cuffs and the 
and the neckline. Um, let's try this little cutie on. Um, so here is this jumper and it's a really nice V neckline um, and it was a real good bargain at like £15. Um, I was hoping it was going to be a little bit looser. Oh, mum's got a text. <laughs> um, but it's actually quite form fitting so just bear that in mind. If you do want a looser fit, do a size up. Uh, this is a 24 and obviously my bottom half that crow is having a chat with the world today. Um, uh, because my bottom half is the biggest half, like it is like sticking to it quite a lot. Um, and there's something I'm not 100% about. But here is the up close of the... The interesting thing is the stars are actually printed on the neckline, which is... Can you see? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's um, it's like it's been printed on the garment. Oh, I don't know. It's that weird. Oh see, I gosh. would prefer the knitted welt around the neck to be plain, but that's just me. But I think for fifteen pounds, yes. if you like yeah. the pattern, it's really, really soft. I and mean, you don't mind it being form fisting. I think it's a great buy. I love the blue, very different. They also did this in the cream. Um, I don't think this one's for me, but some of you guys might like it. Um, so next up, I have got a little outfit I put together. Um, so we've got this quite simple basic, um, but also quite trendy black uh, ribbed, quite almost like a jumper. Is it stretch? It's almost like a jumper material, if you can see. Um, and it's got this really nice V neckline and this collar. Um, for This is quite a little trendy piece. They also did this in kind of like a minty pistachio green color. Um, I went for the black, you'll see white in a minute because it goes with something really cute. Got this in a 24 and this was 19 pound 50. A little bit more on the pricey side, but it is a bit of a basic. I feel like you could wear this lots and lots of different ways. This is 53% polyester, 44% viscose, and 3% spandex. Just super, super simple. Um, but let me show you what I'm pairing it with it. It's gonna look amazing, I hope. So here is what I'm pairing it with. How insane and stunning is this um, skirt? It's not something you'd ever kind of think that m and would do. Um, it's this fluorescent, mid green it's not like fluorescent like highlighter green but it's such a stunning green shade um we've got pleated zebra print um this was 35 pounds this is definitely one of the more expensive items i have bought in this haul but it just absolutely caught my eye um, and i think with that little um collared long sleeve top i think that would be such a nice outfit um it is flat uh, at the front of the waistband but then elasticated at the back um it feels really really nice quality it's not heavy like it's going to drag you down but it's not like lightweight like you can't see through it if you know what i mean it feels really really nice quality um again i got this in a 24 and this is a hundred percent polyester but it does feel amazing quality um i think this is going to be such a look i hope um so yeah this is very different for MS, and i love it <laughs> so i absolutely love this outfit pat on the back for me for coming up with it <laughs> um, so i don't know what to talk about let's talk about the skirt first because it's the the majority of this outfit um i really really love it this was a little bit more pricey being 35 pounds but it does feel really nice quality there's also a lot of material in this skirt and it's very standout but i feel like you could definitely wear this multiple seasons so obviously i've paired it with this long sleeve top which would be really good maybe for autumn you could get a roll neck jumper black roll neck jumper maybe for winter um, and then in the summer this skirt with like a white t-shirt or something i think would also look great so although it's quite a statement piece i think it's very versatile as well and i think you could to be honest wear this through a lot of seasons and and um, adult print is never out of fashion <laughs> in my opinion anyway um we'll just say this fits my waist perfectly but getting it over my tummy um, and I was like, I don't. <laughs> um so obviously just bear that in mind um I guess you could probably I was going to say could you but then I've got quite broad shoulders as well oh, and I've okay. got you know 
these lady lumps as well. So I think you've just <laughs> got to be aware that although um, it's quite big on my waist now, this does have to go over your hips or your shoulders, whichever way you want to do it. Um, but it, it does feel really nice um, quality. Let me give you a close up. Ooh, nice creasing and it has got a slight it looks like a lettuce hem yeah definitely like a bit of a lettuce hem mm. with yeah. the uh i like the way that the, the hem or the lower part of the skirt flares it's very nice um yeah and i'd wear this with either some white trainers or some like boots for like more winter winter and then for this top i think this pairs so so nicely with this skirt i do like an interesting black top like obviously black can be kind of boring sometimes but when you have really fun details like this collar um, and this v-neck and the material is like ribbed that just kind of elevates it i did try on a top from sheen that was a similar silhouette and this was the vibe i wanted it to give me but it was it didn't work this is much better the collar is made out of something a bit like thicker and it just holds its shape without being like a stiff shirt. I really, really rate this piece. I feel like you could definitely dress it up or dress it down. So here is the close up. Can we see in the camera, mum? Not just with oh, your yes. eyes. You always do this. Everyone... That's because I'm interested. <laughs> yes, you can put your hands. So on it's there. like yes. um, stretchy, but like really like thick stretch. It, works really really nicely and then it's we like have like a knitted knitted but a yeah, very fine knitted stretch. there is a stretch to the whole yeah it's very nice as a matter of interest how long oh, is the gonna... top oh sorry oh geez get it out um so it's definitely like a top length it's not what i call like a long top i know a lot of us do like a top that my belly line is here and this is where the top is so just bear that in mind this isn't kind of like this isn't made for plus size that's what you have to remember with M&S is there's just sizing up from their baseline that there is no I don't think any consideration to the bigger sizes being a plus size body and um, so they don't really add any extra length for us but I do think it's really nice I would pair this with mum jeans so I would always I think tuck this top in and they did this in a really nice like pistachio green as well so that will be linked down below for me the black though is just a lot more versatile and I think it goes uh, great with this skirt Ooh. Okay, so we've gone for zebra print and the same silhouette of a dress now. Um, so this is literally the same silhouette as the um, one from earlier on. Um, it is the long sleeve kind of skater A-line jersey dress with the little eyelet in the back. But in this really interesting pattern, again, we've got a very autumnal aqua theme going on. Um, there was an awful lot of green and blues happening at um m&s very very different normally from like the burgundies and the rust colors and actually i kind of love it but i am i'm a big sucker for those autumn rust colors too you'll be definitely seeing some more of that on my channel coming up um but i just thought this was so different um like the little kind of like mock um is it a turtleneck mock turtleneck um i just thought this was really different again with black tights i thought it would look really fabulous um, and also don't be scared of fun prints guys us little plus size ladies can wear them too and um, this is 95 percent viscose and five percent elastane uh 19.50 again i think such a bargain this i think if you did all black black tights black boots with a black coat i think that would look really good you just make this pattern pop and imagine a smoky eye um stunning i think it's very bold very different but also super affordable and comfortable this is everything this is everything your wardrobe could ever want <laughs> let's try it on so obviously exactly the same uh fit as the other dress but we just have a different print i'm really loving all these kind of like petrol blues teals and mosses opals just come in <laughs> from the garden um but yeah this is exactly the same as the other dress um again quite figure hugging on my bottom half so if you are bottom heavy like me you would probably want to size up 
Obviously, bear in mind though that M and S only go up to a 24. Um, I would have, yeah, I would have probably preferred a 26 in this, to be honest, just because of this. But I imagine if you maybe wore some tights or even some like, um, I know you can get kind of like Spanx tights. It, you know, that might help. <laughs> but here's a close up of the print. It's really fun, really different. I actually really love this print. I think it's very um, cool and very different for m and Then you have this little like keyhole at the back, the neck. And yeah, again, same comments as the fit last time. Um, I think I prefer this pattern though. It's a bit more kind of like fun and edgy, but obviously up to you. <laughs> So I was obviously having a moment um, when I was on the website because I decided to buy all the animal print. <laughs> um, I love the tones of this. We are going a bit more traditionally autumn with a bit more of like a rusty red colour. Um, but I absolutely loved the I love the print. I love the colours together. Um, I thought it was very unusual. And you do have this kind of, I imagine this will be quite a puffy little long sleeve here uh, with some details on the shoulder. This material is a little bit thinner than I was expecting, um, but it has a nice stretch to it. This is definitely the kind of top I would tuck into some mum jeans. Um, it's definitely more of a, a slightly slim line, but I feel like with it even being a 24, I might be able to wear it outside of trousers, but I did envisage this being a tuck-in top rather than a over-the-top of jeans top. You guys know exactly what I mean, I'm sure. Um, again, I got this in a 24, 1950. Again, a little expensive for a top. With M&S, um, you do have to kind of like search for some bargains. They do have some really good item, good priced items like those jersey dresses, but you know, they have a very broad range of, of prices. They have some stuff that's very expensive. They, you know, the cashmere jumpers, the autograph range. Um, but then they do have some bargains. So you just have to kind of like hunt out what you're looking for. I just thought again, very, very different for M&S. Um, love, love, love the color and the pattern. Uh, let me tell you what it's made out of while I yabber on about how cute I think it is. Um, this is 100% viscose. Um, a nice long sleeve, so I think this would be so perfect and cute for autumn. Let's get it on. So imagine this quite tucked into some jeans. I think it would actually look a lot better than it just being <laughs> left out. Um, I do think it's very different for m and I do quite like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know if I like the sleeve. Oh, it's got ruching down from it's the top. Got, yeah. Ooh. Do I like that? A bit fussy-ish. Yeah, but then I feel like it does add something yeah. to the top, so I don't yeah. know. Like the neckline, we've not gone yes. high. I yeah. feel like they were so close to adding a mock. <laughs> they were this <laughs> close. Rouge. And then they're like, no, we'll go for a ruched arm instead. But I really love the print. Mm. I love an animal print. Big theme in this haul. And I love the colour. I think it's super autumnal. And this is a great layering piece. It's long sleeve, but the material isn't like really, really thick. It's good quality material, but it's not like, oh, like you could definitely put a jacket or a jumper or like a, like a sweater vest or something over the top. Um, yeah, so autumn is always about layering. Um, I think this could be a great layering piece. Let me know what you think. I would definitely tuck this in to some mom jeans. Um, Hmm, I'm tempted with this one. I think it's quite... Do you want to just come forward? So oh, hang on, we should show you the sleeve. Up close. Well, hang on, down a bit. Down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. <laughs> no, 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 back a oh bit. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so that probably gives an idea. Okay. Labels <laughs> up in the back. Um, so yeah, also these jeans are from New Look. Don't know if the haul is out yet. Um, but I will link these down below if you're interested. Guys, you're not gonna believe it, and I can't quite believe it myself, but this dress also has animal print on it. I don't know if it's just because I gravitate towards animal print, 
or whether it is a trend coming in for this season um but here is this green again with the green and the blues green animal print and floral mashup of a dress um i just thought this dress was again a statement piece M&S has always been kind of known as like the place where your grandma goes to buy clothes. And I disagree with that. They have some very cool trendy pieces if you look for them. And they're not they're not actually that hard to find. Um, this I just thought was very cool. Um, it has a bit of like a mock neck with a little eyelet with a little button at the back. Um, this is a stiff fabric. Oh, it has like a pretend buttons here as well to like, open well to open the dress oh yeah it's very nice very nice little surprise detail there fabric feels really nice we've got some um smocking on the sleeves and on the waistband we love a bit of smocking i feel like that's a trend that is not going anywhere because it's a comfortable trend um i believe this is 100 percent viscose thing i love about m&s as well the care labels are so easy to find um Oh my, I have to cut out. Sometimes, guys, I'm looking for the care label for like a minute. Um, this is 100% viscose, excluding of trimmings. This was, again, a little bit more on the price. This was £45. Woo, okay. <laughs> this is definitely a little spendy piece. Um, but if you have um, an occasion to go to, or if you fancy sprucing up your work wardrobe with something quite bold and exciting, um, then this could definitely be something that could fill that void um so let me try this on for you so this dress there's something about it that's just like not i'm not enjoying being in it um the neck has these like ruffles and they're really like i'm not one of these people that gets like claustrophobic or anything but it, it feels really like really not nice the um and also the elastic in both of the sleeves and the waistband is really tight um it's like sucking in it's just really uncomfortable to wear the the fabric is also really really thick um and for a 24 i think this is size quite small um it does fit um, i'm not comfortable in this um being 100 percent honest it's just something just isn't feeling right about it um here's a close-up of the print you feel the fabric like a crepe isn't it yeah it's really 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 thick mm. um and also there's a lot going on um yeah i don't love this and especially for the price this is definitely being sent back so guys that is the end of today's MS video um haul <laughs> definitely a strong theme coming through with um what i've picked up and this was all mainly from the new in section a lot of blues a lot of greens a lot of animal print um much more kind of a cool tone vibe um and then kind of how autumn's been done before but i really liked it a very different take um i've never had a haul that's gone such a specific way with color scheme um but that's that's pretty cool to be honest um and also it came in this like huge recyclable box as well so kudos for the recyclability of packaging um but then it also did come with all of these so yeah maybe like i don't know is this recyclable <laughs> um but yeah let me know what your favorite piece was down below and if you haven't yet please consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below and um, we'll just let you know uh when i upload and um just keep you in the loop basically on all my hauls i do them every thursday and tuesday why i say thursday and tuesday uh, it's been a long day um and also if you leave me a little comment a little like i would love that hope you're all staying safe and well and i'll catch you soon with another haul i imagine <laughs> bye